CBSA border officers voted last week to approve a strike due to the lack of a contract for the last two years. Their demands include wage parity, protection from management retaliation, access to telework, and protection from CBSA's obsessive reliance on contracting out, very similar to your own government and your own uh, department minister. Now, uh, you have outlined briefly uh, the process which you are undertaking. But if you are not successful, as your predecessor was not successful, and in fact, I think her legacy, unfortunately, is built on that lack of success in reaching these negotiations in a reasonable amount of time successfully. If you are not successful, can you share with Canadians the total amount that this will have an effect on the economy? How many in, in the billions will this, will this affect the Canadian economy if you are not successful? Can you tell Canadians that, please? Actually, it is premature for us to put precise figures on the table. We are still in the midst of ensuring that we reach a fair and reasonable agreement with the CBSA. We are committed to working with bargaining agents to reach an agreement that is fair and reasonable, and we will do so at the table. And I would be more than happy to return to this committee and speak to the particular numbers, but at this time it is premature for me to put m numbers on the table in the type of uh, <coughs> question that I've just received. I don't think it is premature, Minister, because if we look at the costs of the port strikes in both Vancouver and Montreal last year, it was $10 billion, $10 billion that had the effect of, uh, on this economy, especially at a time when your government is in out of control spending, when we need this economy to function so, so bad. Your government failed, your predecessor failed in getting these negotiations uh, resolved in a timely manner, which cost the economy $10 billion, and of course was also a hit to our tax revenues. So. Are you not concerned that we might see these numbers again? Uh, should you not be successful? Do you have any comments for Canadians regarding that? Of course I have comments about our expenditures. I am the president of the Treasury Board, after all, and I will say that I will at all times have oversight and prudent oversight of government spending. What I mean by ensuring that we have a negotiation that occurs at the table is just that. The demands that are going to be the subject of those negotiations will yield, if all goes well, a fair and reasonable Minister, I don't want to talk about agreement uh, for please, the border services workers. I wouldn't be workers. so excited to share your title with a $39.8 billion uh, deficit, Minister. Um, do you, I, I also uh, want to ask as well, um, relative that you've stated that your department is happy to return to the bargaining table to negotiate in good faith. Yes, we are. Um, but it's been two years without a contract, so why are you only just trying now to complete this negotiation? Like I said, your predecessor failed. You're in the process of failing. What are you going to do to ensure that you get this? I actually line? do not think that we are in the process of failing. We are in the process of seeking a deal that is fair and reasonable to Government of Canada employees and to the Canadian taxpayers, and I would not think that hypotheticals of the sort that are being posed in this question would be useful in seeking to reach a fair and reasonable deal. And well, I will as the also say, um, uh, Madam President, we look at results now in.